Advanced formatting for reports. To group and sort data in your reports, open up a report. We're going to use the basic books report. Switch to design view and then go to the design tab. Click group and sort in the grouping and totals group. You get a new window that appears at the bottom of your report. Decide how you want to group and sort. This is really easy. Click on add a group and then decide how you want to group. It will ask you what you want to group by, which is where you pick a data label in your report and how you want to sort that group. In this example, we're going to group by author from A to Z. So click on author and you can see with A on top indicates it's sorting from A to Z. You can see how the report has been updated to add a grouping row for author, where it says author header. Conditional formatting is used to change the appearance of a control. You can highlight data on your report when you do this, or simply change the format. Conditional formatting can be set for a text box or combo control box. It's called conditional formatting because the control must meet specific conditions in order for the formatting to be applied. Let's show you how it works and how to do it. Go to the layout view of your report. Now, click on the control that you want to apply conditional formatting to. We've selected price. Under the format tab, click on conditional formatting in the control formatting group. You'll now see this window. Click on new rule. You've learned how to enter criteria earlier in the course. Now you're going to put it to use. Enter your criteria as the field value is greater than 10. So select greater than and type the value 10 into this box. The next line shows you what you want the font to display as if the condition is true. I'm going to click on bold and select red text. You can see this here is a preview. Once you're done, click OK. Then click apply and then click OK. The conditional formatting has now been applied to our report. All price values greater than 10 have been made a bold red font. Data bars show the value of your records by showing the contrast between the records. Data bars can only be applied to a bound control that has a numeric data type. They make it easier to compare values. When you want to apply data bars, you use the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager. To apply data bars, go to the Layout View of your report. We're already in Layout View now. Next, select the control that you want to apply data bars for. In this case, we'll select Price again. Then, go to the Format tab and click on Conditional Formatting again. Click on New Rule. In the Selected Rule Type box, click on Compare to Other Records. If you don't want to see the numeric values, check Show Bar only. We're going to leave it clear. Now, specify how you want to represent the shortest bar. For example, the lowest value will be the shortest bar. You can also select number or percent. Take a look at these tables to understand this better. If you select lowest value, this is the default setting and sets the visual limit for the lowest value. If you select number, this means all values less than or equal to the shortest bar are length zero. And percent, like the number setting, but percentage for each value is compared with the rest of the records. Also for the longest bar, the highest value is the default setting and sets a limit for the highest value. Number is all values greater than or equal to the longest bar number fill the control. The bar goes all the way across the control. Percent is like the number setting, but percentage for each value is compared with the rest of the records. Select the bar color and click OK. Click apply and then click OK. You can see in the report that the data bars have been added. We left the data showing, but you might want to take yours out.